Now I am going to dictate a legal passage at the rate of 120 words per minute. Let's start. It is to be noted that the aforesaid crime was registered pursuant to the forwarding of an application filed by the respondent here in under section 156 within bracket 3 CRPC raising the allegation against the persons named therein, including the appellants by the learned magistrate for investigation and thereupon investigation was commenced para. The appellants herein assailed the very order for forwarding of the application for investigation under section 156 within bracket 3 CRPC, the consequential registration of the said FIR and also the ongoing investigation pursuant there to raising various contentions that the application moved by the respondent herein before the learned magistrate did not disclose commission of any cognizable offense that the allegations in the complaint are actuated by malafides that the allegations would reveal that they pertain to pure civil dispute between the parties and in fact the respondent did resort to civil remedies that he failed in obtaining favorable order in interlocutory applications moved in a duly instituted suit and upon its frustration and as a tool for operation that harassment he moved the application which culminated in the registration of the FIR without disclosing the crucial aspects that in respect to the subject matter the suit instituted by him his title suit number 363 of 2015 carrying the prayers for a declaration that he is the secretary of the schedule school and also for a permanent injunction restraining dependent numbers 1 and 2 therein his the application herein and their main agents and associates from procuring and oblique or creating any document illegally and oblique or from obstructing him in representing as the secretary of the managing committee is pending before the first court civil judge within bracket junior division at Barasat. It is also contended therein that the respondent herein had suppressed certain further aspects of his that much before the filing of the application based on which the FIR was registered, he was removed from the post of secretary and in fact from the membership of the very board of trustees. Initially, he moved the office of labor commissioner raising grievances against such removal from the office of the secretary before instituting the stated should the impugned order would reveal that upon forming the opinion on perusal that they would prima facie make out a case for investigation. The High Court declined to exercise the jurisdiction under section 482 CRPC. It would also reveal that the crucial and relevant contentions raised by the appellants were not at all considered by the High Court. Stop. Thank you.